Let's say car A leaves your friend's house with four people, traveling at an average speed of 60 miles per hour, heading north to the cabin for a long weekend. Your car leaves your house with three people traveling at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. The question is, did you bring enough growlers of beer for everyone? Let's face it, beer from a keg is awesome. But when your plans don't allow for transporting an entire kegerator of homebrew, growlers are pretty awesome too. But how do you get the beer from here to here? When you pour a glass of beer, the turbulence created as it falls into the glass releases CO2, which gives the beer a nice creamy head. And this head helps bring out the flavor and aroma of the beer. But once you let it out, you can't get it back in. The trick is to reduce turbulence, which reduces the CO2 loss. First, turn down the pressure on your regulator so that it's only reading one or two PSI. Second, get rid of the existing head pressure in your keg. Third, take your growler out of the freezer. Yes, the freezer. A cold contact surface keeps the beer from getting warm and helps keep the CO2 in. Fourth, use a growler filler. You can see here that this end of the filler has a metal connector with some O-rings. This just happens to fit perfectly into a standard beer faucet, creating a very nice seal. Unfortunately, it's just a little too big for pearl faucets, so don't use a growler filler if you've got one of those. The filler allows us to pour the beer directly into the bottom of the growler, eliminating a rough pour and reducing turbulence. All of this together gives you a nice, slow, and steady fill with almost no CO2 loss. Now, it's true that you could skip all these steps and just fill your growler at full pressure, but know that the more foam you get, the more flavor you're going to lose. And when it comes to homebrew with friends, don't you want it to be the best it can be? Thank you.